ओके नाउ वाई एम नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट राइटिंग द स्कूल क्वेरी और स्कूल कमांड इन यूजिंग ए डी ओ डॉट नेट वाई हैव चूज इन द स्टोर प्रोसीजर्स वॉट इज़ द नीड ऑफ स्टोर प्रोसीजर्स सी फ्रेंड्स स्टोर प्रोसीजर्स आर नथिंग बट दे आर द ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ स्कूल सर्वर ओके वी कैन राइट अ मल्टीपल स्कूल क्वेरी और स्कूल कमांड इन अ पर्टिकुलर स्टोर प्रोसीजर्स ओके ओके वी अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज स्टोर प्रोसीजर्स बट वॉट इज़ द यूज ऑफ स्टोर प्रोसीजर्स लेट मी टेल यू द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ऑफ यूजिंग द स्टोर प्रोसीजर्स इज स्टोर प्रोसीजर्स आर प्री कंपाइल कोड इट इम्प्रूव द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ अ वेबसाइट और अ मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन और अ वेब एप्लीकेशन इट इम्प्रूव द परफॉर्मेंस बिकॉज इट्स अ प्री कंपाइल कोड आई मीन इट इम्प्रूव द परफॉर्मेंस इन प्लान एग्जीक्यूशन एंड पार्सिंग ऑफ द डेटा सो दैट्स वाई वी यूज वी नीड टू यूज स्टोर प्रोसीजर्स सो नाउ वी अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द insert update delete and select we understand why we need to use store procedures and what is store procedures now let's see a simple example on it means uh, how to do the insert update delete and select using store procedures now to do that what i will do i will quickly open up my visual studio 2010 so here we go so i'll go to my start Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. It is opening. Yes. So now what I will do? I will go to my file. New. I will say new website. I will select my ASP .NET empty website. That is my .NET frame. Uh, .NET Framework 4.0. I'm choosing my uh, framework as 4.0 and my language as Visual C Sharp. So let's give a nice name. Website video one. Good. I will say okay. So it is going to create my ASP.NET empty website. So cr creation of project is been successful now so what we need to do we need to go to our solution explorer here and uh, we need to add a uh, a simple aspx page for that just click on the solution right click on the solution go to the add new items select a web form language as visual c sharp and our dot net framework 4.0 let's give a nice name here it is demo using stored procedures okay dot as px done now before doing anything we need to select our database to select our database we need to go to the server explorer okay i'm going to select my first mdf file that is adio.mdf file and just open up my adio.mdf file yes i'm go into my tables okay so here i have the two tables that is one is customer and another one is employee So I'm going to do the insert update delete on this customer table. Okay. So to do that, we need to create a connection here. So for that, I will go to my solution explorer. We have selected the database that is ADO dot MDF, and we need to create a, a connection now. So for creating a connection, I'm going to use web dot config file to add up my connection string. so to this is my web.config file so what i will do i will create my connection string here so that is connection strings here we go say add
name let's give a nice name that is con means connection name and connection string so to get a connection string it's pretty simple what you need to do or rather what we need to do let's go to our server explorer and we need to right click on the database file that is adio.mdf my database file so I'm going into the my properties just select the connection string here just copy the connection string just paste it here it's pretty simple yeah. so we are done we are done with our connection string yes now we are done with our connection string part through the web config file now what we need to do we need to create a simple form basically or uh, uh, entry form okay to do the insert part so for that what I will do I will create up the form let's give a simple title here simple demo using store procedures this is my title what I will do I will create a table here cell spacing fine padding equal to 5 ok border equal to 1 say style let's give some style here let's give some font that is font 12 pixel tahoma yes we are done so now we need to create a table row here table row td let's see uh, what are the fields we have uh, in our database that is in our customer table of adio.mdf database so we have a uh, customer name and customer address so let's create a, a text boxes for customer name and customer address so let's say customer name and let's create uh, A simple text box so let's drag and drop the text box into the the row of table yes the same way we need to create for customer address so for that I will just copy this customer address let's give this name as txt first name txt first address so now we need to create a button here to do the submit so for that I will say table row td call span equal to two and just quickly drop uh, drag the button so here we go the button yes this is for add new record let's give the name as add new record let's say btn add ok let me just show you the design view of this form see friends this is how our uh, the form basic form looks like I have chosen the two columns from the database that is 
from the customer table that is customer name and customer address customer name and customer address so that's why I created the two text box to add the record that is customer name here and the customer address and uh, when we click on this button we need to make sure it will it will add the record into our database that is edu.mdf database so for that 